Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Good Owl Games, the place where I love to give you two player insights into some of the board games you might just want to have in your own collection. So this is the Kickstarter preview for the Red Burnous Algeria 1857 and if you're looking for a really interesting yet introductory war game, boy have you found it. The Red Burnous Algeria 1857 is a cooperative war game in which you play as Algerian villages fighting back against the French. On your turn you can move your troops. Use your deck to play cards to your villages and activate abilities. Then you can buy cards from the market to enhance your preparations. But don't forget the French are amassing their forces too. And you'll eventually clash on the field. Can you outlast the French foes and become victorious? Thing one, what's this game all about? So the Red Bernouse, and that's what I'm going to call it for short, um, sets you up during a conflict between the invading French forces and the Algerians who are attempting to defend their villages. And what the game really centers around is these villages, where you are trying to build up, gather resources, get troops together, and move between the villages to try and thwart the French onslaught. Um, now, this isn't really so much of a theme as more of a setting. Um, and it does have some very historically accurate things. So for instance, you'll have a leader as part of your deck, um, and they are true to real people as well. Um, there's also an emphasis on kind of the women and children who took part in this conflict, which I also found kind of interesting. But I do think that the real draw here is the historical aspect. So you might want to A, appreciate history, or B, have some sort of interest in this particular time period and conflict. However, that doesn't mean that there isn't a lot to enjoy here regardless. Um, this is a very interesting introductory war game where there is a great play between the mechanics, um, what happens with your deck of cards and how that's reflected out on the game board. There's a nice emphasis on women and there's also a nice touch here with that you are not the attacking colonizer for once you are the defender. And all of this feels fresh and kind of interesting to me. Now, similar games to this, oh, I've not played a ton of war games, but this does remind me a little bit of something like Lincoln, where you are replaying historical events all through a deck of cards. Thing two, what kind of actions are you going to be performing on your turn? Well, the Red Burnous is a cooperative war game in which you're using your deck to manipulate the troops you have out on the board. And you're defending your Algerian villages against the might of the French. And the aim of the game is to basically outlast your enemy. So how it starts is you have a number of villages in play and a deck full of cards. And on your action, you can perform one of three, one of three things. Um, so the first is that you can mobilize your troops out on the board. So you can move them to another region you control. Um, the second action is that you can play cards from your hand um, so that you can activate abilities. Um, and so some of these things are like drawing cards or moving troops. Some of which you have to discard right away and others you can actually place down in your village so you can use them later. And this is to do with this third action, which allows you to take back all the people from your village into your hand. So there's some really interesting combinations to be made there. Um, least of all is the fact that the fourth thing that you do on a round is you're able to purchase new cards for your deck from the market. And these cost resources and there are resources on all of the cards you have as well as their abilities. So it's up to you to decide whether you want to play them for their ability or keep them for their resources. And these will add cool new things into your deck um, that will be necessary as you play. Um, so meanwhile, you're building up all your forces and troops. The French are also doing something similar. Um, so on their turn, they get to usually place out um, troops in their little staging area. And then when they hit a particular number, they're going to start advancing around the board. It's random what area of the board they will come in. They have three choices and they have a variety of different kinds of troops as well. But when they reach your village, a battle is going to happen. And this is resolved via a number of D6s that you're going to roll. Um, different types of troops 
roll different colored dice and they can do more or less hits than others. But if you lose a troop, if you get hit, well, that's it, it's down and out. Um, and this is the kind of crux, I think, of the gameplay here, which is that the French can continually keep making more units, but you cannot, you have a limited supply. So you have to be very careful around combat about the things you're trying to do um, and who you're willing to sacrifice to get ahead. Um, so I really love how the deck portion where you're putting people in your villages is reflected on the board itself. I think that's just so interesting and cool. Overall, this is a very elegant and smooth design that connects with the setting incredibly well. Thing three on the table. So what you're going to be looking at for the majority of this game is the map um, and it's a really nice one. And for fitting onto the table, it's a good size as well, including the market you have to set up to. Um, overall, it feels quite tidy and neat. Um, so setup for this is straightforward enough. You do have to construct some decks for each player at the start of the game. And it takes about 60 minutes for two of us to play. Um, the rule book is most of the way there. It's in Kickstarter format. So it's got the broad strokes down, but I look forward to seeing it tidy up some of the specifics. Now, replayability wise here is unusual because this is a specific time in history, right? So you're always going to be using the same tools to deal with the same problem. And I think that'll appeal to a lot of people. However, just because you're dealing with the same conflict doesn't mean there isn't a lot of variability here too. You know, it's random where the French can go. You'll have different cards each time, different leaders. So yeah, there's still plenty going on here. Thing four, how does this game look and feel? Well, to be fair, it's actually the title that attracted me to this game in the first place, The Red Burnous. Like, what kind of unusual title is that? What's it all about? And then you look at the cover art and you're like, oh, there's this badass lady there doing her thing. And already I feel like this war game was a little bit different or going a different direction than most I'd seen before. And that is the case that the title of the game is actually named after the lady on the cover, the Lady Fatma, who actually fought, you know, beside her people to go against the French and they eventually killed her. There's a whole series of history um, that came with my copy of the game to give you a bit of background. And I love that this was real, this really happened, and these are real people that are included in the game, so you can learn a little something. Um, now, the art for this game um, is definitely kind of very of the period and quite rustic, but I do feel like it fits with, you know, what we're doing here. Um, component quality, while well, this is a preview copy, so I assume nothing is set in stone, but what I have is actually really lovely. Um, I have a nice game board, I have some very nice to wooden tokens, um, and the card quality is top notch, I, I really like the cards. Um, so overall, the aesthetics here, you know, the game feels like it's put, put together lovingly, and that everything just fits just right together. Thing five, is this game actually any good? So I don't often play war games and the chances are you probably don't either. However, if for some reason you decided you want to dip your toes in the water, then this is the perfect place to start. The Red Burnous was kind of flagged to me as an introductory war game and it's definitely its greatest strength. Um, initially, I just loved the fresh and kind of innovative theme here where you have women leaders and women and children defending villages and you also get to be the one to go up against the colonizer for a change. Like I found that this was something I really wanted to engage with and was interested in. This feels fresh and new to me. Um, the deck portion of the game is really, really smart. I love how it works. All of your cards have different uses as either resources or abilities and where you're playing them um, really matters for future turns. I like the fact that your villages are cards in front of you, but it also represent those on the board and changes made to those often mean changes made to your board as well. Um, and I like that very much. And the notion of pulling your cards back into your hand after you've kind of laid them into the villages to redistribute them really represents very well what you might be doing on the map. Um, so I'm moving my troops from here to here or this person's needed here and I yeah I think it's a really really cool idea. Um, so despite this being a war game and you know combat kind of being the be all and end all I do feel like the core puzzle here is a, a lot of resource management and kind of mobilization of your troops so that you can kind of minimize casualties as much as possible um, because yes yeah, you can run out of soldiers um, but the French cannot so there's a little bit more here going on than we're just going to roll dice against each other and see who wins it's up to you to be tactical and strategic.
Now, as introductory and all as the game is, I, I do have maybe, maybe it's a little bit too introductory um, because myself and my husband, when we played, we didn't find the French to be particularly scary or worrisome. There wasn't really a lot of tension in the game. We didn't feel like we were ever close to losing. Um, now, don't hold that against the game. Myself and my husband have a tendency to be really, really good at two player cooperative games. So this may be just that case, um, but Overall, this is a lovely game and I really enjoyed my time with it. Do I think you should have the Red Bernouse Algeria 1857 in your collection? I think if you want a war game that's kind of fresh and interesting that you should definitely be checking this out on Kickstarter on September 14th. You've been watching Good Owl Games. Why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about my future videos? Or if you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about the Red Bernous, why not shout them off in the comment box below? I'd absolutely love to hear from you. So tune in again next time for some more short and informative board game reviews.